Welcome all you new folks and welcome back to Loving It on Keto. Hey you guys, it's another heck of a hot day here in sunny Arizona. It's gonna be 109, which means it's gonna be oh, about 111 degrees here. So if you guys are taking a walk and moving your body today, get outside early, that's all I'm saying. Because when I get home from work, it is the hottest part of the day. So anyway, you guys are doing so great on our August Protein Spraying Modified Fast Challenge. I really wanna congratulate everybody who is losing weight, absolutely. And for those of you who are new, this is our challenge. It's a protocol. Today we are all doing a Protein Sparing Modified Fast Day and we're taking a walk. Someone asked me, well, do I only eat two meals? Do I eat one meal? How many meals do I eat? I say eat three meals, uh, split your food up, you know, or two meals, whichever you're comfortable with because you're not getting a lot of food. You're eating high protein today. It's a high protein day. So, um, and your calories are gonna be under a thousand. So you can split that up into two foods. You can split that up into one food uh, meal. Uh, however you want to do it, please do it the way you want to do it. So I just wanted to let you know, that's why I didn't say have only two meals or have three meals or it's an OMAD day or anything like that. So I just wanted to let you know that you can have two or three meals just make sure you don't go over your calories. Make sure you do not go over 10 grams of carbs. You do not go over 30 grams of fat. You can have up to 30 grams of fat and up to 10 grams of carbs total on a protein sparing modified fast, but you should not go over. It's hard to get the macros just right in your calculator. Um, and if you go over one or two, it's no big deal, but just try to stay there. That's the most important thing. I also want to remind everybody that everything that you have to eat or drink uh, the day before, sometimes two days prior, any inflammation, uh, allergies, headaches, migraines, any flare-ups of any kind where your body is working to take care of the problem, uh, it's probably going to have some water retention in there. So with that, I want to share with what we had to eat yesterday. It was an 18 hour fast. Yes, indeed. We had those lemon cupcakes that were absolutely delicious. Six ounces of chicken breast with my two tablespoons of keto chow gravy. I had six ounces ground beef and I had four protein spray modified fast breads during the day. I had six sugar-free pickle chips because we had a delicious Hammond burger. It was so good. And the bread we used was the tomato basil and it, oh man, did it add flavor. We had a tablespoon of avocado, a tablespoon of ketchup and mustard on my hamburger. Yes, indeed. Had some collagen, had four tablespoons of key two creamer. Oops, I erased the word carbs. I think it was like 3% carbs. For a total of 7 grams, 38% fat for a total of 46 grams, 59% protein for a total of 164 grams. You guys, the protein sparing modified fast bread is what's giving us that extra boost of protein for not a whole heck of a lot of calories. Uh, 1140 calories total. Harry had 7, seven ounce chicken breast, 2 cupcakes. 8 ounces ground beef for a hamburger, yes indeed he did, on two protein sparing modified fast tomato basil breads with avocado, ke avocado mayo, ketchup, and dill pickle chips and mustard. It was absolutely delicious. Oh, he had collagen and four tablespoons key two creamer. He had 3% carbs for a total of 9 grams. 41% fat for a total of 53 grams. He had 56% protein. Look at this, you guys, 163 grams of protein. His total calories were 1,193. You guys, Harry did not get done till 3 a.m. in the morning. So I let him sleep this morning because I don't want him to get sleep depraved because it does have a direct effect on your weight. And he, he got up and gave Sally her food and helped me get out the door. But other than that, you guys, um, we're filming this this afternoon because I sent him back to bed. He was, he needed to go to bed and he needed to go to sleep. So 
you guys, I went up two tenths of a pound. I'm not worried about that. Harry stayed, yeah. even though he had lack of sleep, didn't get to go to bed until uh, 3 a.m. this morning, and so his Back sleep was, was 3 off. 3.30. 3.30. He probably would have been in the 160s today, but he held fast, and that's the important thing. I went up a little bit. I'm not worried. I tend to go up a little bit, then down, then up a little bit, then down, up and down. I'm more of a little roller coaster. Well, so do I, but this has been really kind of strange. This has been really, really good. Yeah. So, let's share everybody the big board, hon. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm in Harry's way. Wonder yeah. how that happened, Harry. I don't know. So, tell us about the big board. Oh, okay. Um... Two all-time new lows yeah, on, yeah. in one week. Yeah, it was uh, one was here and one was here on me, right? Yeah. And then I just stayed today, which was kind of weird. I think I should have went up. I was kind of surprised that I... No, I think you would have gone down, but you didn't. No, I mean because of the sleep. Oh, lack thereof. Yeah, I'm surprised yeah. I didn't go up because of the sleep. I thought 3 o'clock when I'm going, I'm going to gain weight tomorrow because of this. But we're going to try to rectify that today because I'm trying to make a smaller video so I can go to bed at a decent hour and catch back up so I can get up in the morning and do what I need to do instead of waiting till noon to start my day. It just screws everything up, which puts me back into a 3 o'clock in the morning editing thing. So, uh, almost one thing, one thing else I want to talk about, the coffee. Everybody seems to want me to do the coffee thing. So that's fine. I think that's great because I'm really a coffee guy, right? So, uh... What I think I'm going to do is probably going to do it about two times a week, as long as I can squeeze it in. That's something I'm going to try to squeeze in because I know I'm really into the coffee. I know a lot, Now I know a lot of you guys are into the coffee, so I'm going to do that. So, okay, that's really about all I got to say right now about that. So let's move on. Uh, no lunch today. I'm sleeping. I look way too late. Go away. Really? I'm sleeping. Ugh. Hey you guys, I'm at work and I've got my electrolytes. I've got a hard boiled pickled egg that I pickled myself in some um, uh, pickle juice at home. I have got chicken breast with um, my keto chow delicious savory gravy. I've got a ginger root beer and I've got some uh, protein spraying modified fast tomato basil bread for today because today is a protein spraying modified fast day. You guys, I am going to make myself a cup of coffee. Yes, indeed. Welcome to my cupboard. I'm going to put some collagen in it, some cinnamon drops, and some Keto creamer from my refrigerator. So, you guys. Let's get this day started. I gotta go get my coffee and I'll be right back to get started on my day. You guys, uh, I see a toaster. Oh, I do, I do. Yay, we've got toasters. Okay, so I've got my toast with me. I brought my protein sparing modified fast toast. So I'm gonna pop it in the toaster. Where's my coffee? Oh, my coffee is brewing. Yes, indeed. So I'm gonna have toast, tomato basil toast and coffee for breakfast because I'm hungry today. Yes, indeed. 
It's working and it's a bagel toaster so I can make bagels with my beautiful new piping equipment that Madeline sent to me. So you guys, I've got a way to cook bagels. I'm so excited. Got my coffee, got my plate. Now all I need is my toast. Yes indeedy. Mm -mm -mm. There you have it. I've got toast right there. Ooh, should have brought some. Well, no, it's protein sparing modified fast day, but any other time I can have spreads. Ooh, yeah, cream cheese. I can put some butter on that, but not today. It's going plain, but I'm excited, you guys, because there's a toaster that works. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, I've got my toast. Yes, indeed. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, the tomato basil. And I've got a cup of coffee. So you guys know what that means. I'm breaking my fast and I've got to eat now. Hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, it's only supposed to be 109 here today. So we've, we've dropped a few degrees of hotness. So it's just going to be extra hot, not hot, 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 hot. So it's going to be hot, hot, hot today. Yes, indeed. So there's something in the mailbox. I got to go pick it up. So. But I take you guys along with it. You can see where this stuff goes <laughs> when people send this stuff. But I thought it might be kind of interesting. This is where I'm going, the UPS store. That's pretty much where uh, stuff comes in and out at. Yeah, let's, there it is right here. I'm going to go ahead and park. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah, looky here. Oh yeah. And uh, there you go, back home we go. See you back there. And the acacia, or, or staccata, excuse me, staccata are out. You guys can hear the humming and the buzz, the bugs. Yes, indeed. It is humid today and supposed to be 109, which means it'll probably be 111 degrees. And like I always say, how hot is hot when it gets over 100 degrees, right? It's like, how cold is cold when it gets below zero? That's what I'm saying. Anyway, you guys, I am taking a walk and moving my body. I did not get my weights out. Harry and I did not. He worked till three o'clock in the morning, so he is sleeping right now, but we've got to move the weights so that I can get to them and start lifting weights. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you guys, I am walking moving my body and I hope you guys are doing the same hope everybody's having a great day I am yes indeed anyway you guys we'll see you in the next segment I've got to walk now yes indeed love the sound of the fountain. This fountain's 175 years old, you guys. Isn't it beautiful? I've often wanted to take my shoes off, roll my pants up, and sit with my feet in the water. You think I'd get in trouble for that? <laughs> I don't know. Let me put this out of the way. I love my little bread container. That's doing really good. Okay, you guys, Harry went, we got a notification from the post office today and Harry went and picked those packages up. So I'm gonna open them up right now for everybody. Hold on. Cause I'm excited. Uh, where's some scissors? Here's some scissors. So.
What is this? I don't know. It's a hamburger bun pan, non-stick silicon hamburger bun mold for baking silicon hamburger oh, bread forms. Cool. Open that up. Let's see. I it. am. Sounds interesting. It does. Do you know who sent it to you yet? Well, not exactly, but it was. No, they this were was smaller. Thicker. This is thicker. Yeah, these are bigger. These are hamburger buns. Well, let's try it out. I am. I will put this in the dishwasher, run it through, and I will try it. I just. I'm worried about the holes. I'm worried that the, um, but have you tried these? Does your meringue ooze out through the bottom? Do they work? Are they anyway, I'll clean? put it in, I'll put it in the dishwasher and I will give it a try. Yes, indeed I will. Thank you. Uh, there is no note. Ah, oh, there's paperwork. This is from Dina. Dina, thank you so much. Have you, do you have this one personally? And have you used it? Please leave a comment below and let me know. Let me know, do I need to cook it any differently? I know I would put it on a cookie sheet, but I just wanna know if you've used this with the Protein Spray Modified Fast Meringue, because I'm, it's weird to see something with holes in it. Yeah, right? it kinda freaks you out. Because the stuff you're putting in is liquid and you're going, in my brain, I'm going, how's that going to stay put? How's it going to stay put? But it has to. Well, we'll just have to try it. I'm going to try it. Thank you, Dina, so much. I think, I yeah, I think it's a great it. experiment. I think I'm yes, going to enjoy will. this. Well, I think I would like to make. I hope it works I would really love good, to make that my cool? tomato basil yeah. in there Oh yeah. for hamburger We'll buns. do that. Because that is awesome. That would be fun. I I'm, I'm so. curious to see how what how it turns out because when you got one and it, she thought she got well mine was skinnier it was mm. like a muffin top it was not deep like that it was like that thick, my yeah. muffin top it was a much thinner one so we'll see but she we'll didn't try. try it no I did not she just scared her and she scaredy cat if you think I <sighs> I don't want it oozing out all over everyone because I'll share if it does trust me. Oh, we're going to give it the it, we're going to give it the it. test and review because that's yeah, what we do. Absolutely. We like to do that stuff. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my How goodness! How pretty! Who sent you that? This is oh, it's a red one. Yeah, oh, I'm you excited. Made out. It's a red one and it's copper. Thank you so much, Cindy. Is this the one you sent to me? Oh man, am I excited because I it's red. Look. It's my, I know, I'm weird. It's the lipstick red that I love, though. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, because somebody I know burnt mine. Yeah, you just saved my butt. <laughs> I'm excited. Harry's going to have to wash it so I can use it. Yes, yeah, I will. Just set it over the there. Washer. Just set it in the pile. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you so much, Dina. I am going to make hamburger buns. I am. I will do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's yeah. Friday, so yeah. I can cook in the kitchen yeah. and see if that works. In the meantime, we can get it, run it through the dishwasher tonight. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited. So, does it say who sent you the pan? No, I think it's Cindy. Cindy sent me an email telling me that a pan was coming, and then I think a spatula or a medium sized spatula, I think is what she said. So, she said, I just got notification that something was there. Let me check the box again. Yep, that's just the pan. Just making sure. Don't want to throw away something valuable, man. I love red copper 12 inch frying pan. That's beautiful. Ooh, I wonder if my little fit on it. Have to check, have to check. Okay, you guys, I thought I had a packet of orange. Here, look, I gotta go over here. This cupboard needs to be clean. Oh, there it is. Huh. Okay. Oh, maybe that. I am going to make... I'm going to have to get back in there. Sorry, my eyeball witches. An angel food, protein spray modified fast angel food cake, keto chow style. What are you using? Hold it up. Orange mango. Orange mango. Okay. 
I like I want to make it because I want to perfect this because I have to make a cake for Saturday and I want to see how this works. And I'm making it with egg whites from a carton. I know some of you said that it doesn't whip as well in a carton, but I've had really good luck with it. So let me get my recipe real quick and then I'll come back and start pulling all of the ingredients, get it set up and you guys can come back and watch. I preheated my oven to 350. So we'll come back in the next segment when I'm ready to bake. Okay, I have 12 ounce, I mean 12 egg whites equivalent in this bowl. Just using it from the carton, folks. Half scoop of your egg white protein powder. This is, it's just, all that is, is egg white protein powder. That's it. Now, swerve. Need a whole cup of swerve. Confectioner sugar. It's got to be the powdered sugar. And you guys, here's a little trick. If you only have the granulated, put it in your Vitamix and whip it up and it'll turn into confection sugar. So this is half a cup, so I need a whole cup, so I need two of those. Whoops. And throwing everything. Okay, now I need two teaspoons. Oh, I'm gonna put in the keto chow orange mango. You can use your favorite, but I just wanted orange. I thought I had orange creamsicle, but I don't. I just have orange mango, so that's what I'm going with. It's going to be a little tropical flavor. A little tropical flavor. I'm going to have uh, two teaspoons of cream and tartar. Oops. That your new bottle? No. Two teaspoons creamy tartar. Pinch of Redmond salt. You guys have to put this in. Let me shake this. This is Loran's orange. I'm using one of it and then some drops. And I'll explain why in a minute. You have to put this liquid, you have to put it through and then stir it in really well into your dry ingredients because wetness causes the egg whites not to peak, not to make a stiff peak. So I want to take a fork. And I want to make sure that this is incorporated all in here. Mm. I also want to add some Capella orange drops because this is the orange dream sickle. So I'm going to add. Cue the dog. 20. 20 of Capella Orange Dream Sickle. Again, look for lumps. If there's lumps, it's because your drops aren't mixed in really well. Now, I want to add some orange stevia. The mixture raw has great flavor. When you cook it, it nullifies some of the sweetness for some reason. It's like it absorbs it. So you want to get the flavors really popping before you put it in your pan. And that's just my opinion. So I put 17 drops in. 
I don't have as good a taste, or you guys may have a real sensitive taste. And that's wonderful if you do. Man, does that smell good. Woo! Oh, yeah. It fills the room like a, to me, like if you were in a pastry place. Oh, yeah, it does. It really does. Now, I know this is weird, but I'm tasting the dry ingredients. I am intrigued and love the smell of white gremlin from Gremberry Farms. To me, it almost has, I don't know, I just love it. Mm, I smell think I, it. I think I have a link. Smell that. We do. We have a 5% discount. The code is gremlin. But I'm going to put some of this in there. You can, you can get there by going down below and, and clicking on the link. Put about 15 drops or so in, just because I'm intrigued. You know, orange mango is more tropical than orange, and this, I just love. Hey, Rich, if you're watching, can you tell me what the white gremlin flavoring, what you had in your mind? I know it's for candy, but it's just that it has a super neat smell to it. Very intriguing. Yeah, it does. It's unusual. It is. Almost has a tropical flavor. Okay, I'm gonna taste this. Gla oh my gosh. Can I have some? Yeah. Ooh. I know. It's like hits y'all of a sudden. It does, isn't that good? Yeah. Okay, you guys. I am taking <sighs> Harry, Harry, Mr. Mm. Dishman. Mm. I know you were busy, too busy going to sleep today, but all my stuff's still in the sink. I want to make sure it's totally dry. I'm transferring over the liquid. Now I'm going to just put in all the dry ingredients that had the liquid drops incorporated. And I'm just barely whisking it together. Yes, it looks ugly, but I don't want the big powder poof to happen when I put this in the blender and turn it on to high. So I'm just mixing it up right here in a bowl. Now I'm gonna put it on my mixer. And I need my beater. Harry, if you want cake, you better be good, buddy. That's all I'm saying. Nate. I don't have to worry about it because I know you're going to make it because you want it. Well, I didn't say you could have it. Well, I can have anything I want because you're not here. I'll take it with During me. the day. I'll take it with me to work. I'll put it in it my new... It ain't going to work. I'll put it in my new it cake container work. and it will come to, it will come to work no, with me No, it won't work. not beating I think it's the Loran I think it's too much liquid so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make another one of my cakes like I did I'm taking the rest of my egg yolks there's four in here I'm gonna put them in and then beat them beat them in I am going to add a half a teaspoon of baking powder to the mix. How much? Half a teaspoon of vanilla. And 
this time I'm going to put it into a baking a cake pan. Let me taste. That's so good. That is so good. So orangey, which is really good. Put this over here. Let's pour it in this cake pan. Looks good though, doesn't it? This one isn't going to have as much. But I'll tell you, it's really good. And they taste better in the cake pan, I thought. They were moister yeah, yeah. than you the cupcakes. Yeah, you, you make something, you want to be ready, I guess, to go another way. Plan so B. Work out. Yeah, save be your egg yolks. Go. Yeah, save your egg yolks because I'm not throwing this away. Now, it could have been the egg whites. Somebody told me that the, the brand I have says it's not good for doing this. But, you guys, I made my um, bread yesterday with the exact same brand. So, you know, this tastes delicious. It's going to cook unevenly, so I need to move some into the other pan. So, let me move this over. Mm, it's really good. Sorry. Yes, I licked my finger. Guess what? Harry, Mom, and I share germs. Yes, we do. Nobody else is eating this. I'm not going to share. Mm, that smells so good. You guys, the raw ingredients taste superb. Seriously. They taste superb. So... I'm going to cook this in the oven. Probably turn the timing down because you're supposed to hear Merrick Marty. Can you move so I can put this in the oven? Um, if it were angel food cake, I would cook it for 45 minutes. But since it's in a cake pan and there's less, I'm going to cook it for 30. Yes, there's little hole. There's little, little air pockets in it, but I'm leaving it because I want it to be light and fluffy. My way. Okay, excuse me. 30 minutes. And you guys, sense. Now, if I make cake and I frost it, we can't have it. What I can do is frost one and leave the other one plain. Or I can frost it and make a double decker real live cake with frosting that we can't have a taste of tonight. But that sucks. Do one without the frosting. And one with? Yeah. The problem when I put frosting on, that stuff is so good. I just want to eat the whole cake. It just triggers me like it, there's no tomorrow. I mean, I can make cream cheese, butter, cream cheese, orange frosting for that. Well, that'd be great for everybody to see, but I'd do it tomorrow. No, I want some cake tonight. You can't have the frosting tonight, you said. So, I know. I'm trying to think about this. That's why I'm saying tomorrow. Is tomorrow a day you can have it? Yes. Well, then there you go. That answers that question right there. One with, one without. Well, I'm just going to double it. Put a cream frosting in the middle. And okay, well, go ahead. Make the whole deal. I don't deal. know. I'll have to think about it, you guys, because seriously, I, I, cake triggers me. Donuts trigger me. Sweet rolls trigger me. I've stayed away from some of this stuff because of that. I'd rather eat plain cake and have it be less sweet and be able to have it whenever I want it than to have it with the frosting on it. And I'm making a frosted cake for Saturday. Oh, so, so I we'll think we're going to just have two of these unfrosted. Or maybe I'll do like, uh, oh, who was it? You can oh, put cinnamon on it. No, you stab the top and then you pour a uh, swerve topping with like lemon or orange flavoring on it and let it leak into the holes. I could do something like that. Okay, do that. I'm going to think about it, you guys. We'll come back when it's ready. That'll give me a chance to think. Yes, indeed. How much time you got? 30 minutes. Okay.
frosting. I'm making frosting. And you guys, I know you guys want recipes. This is all in my head. Perfect. I measured two tablespoons of butter. I measured six ounces of one third less uh, Philly cream cheese. One third less than normal. Here, let me get my spatula out of the sink because you were good enough to do that. So I'm gonna use that as my base. Hold on, no, he's in there. Did you hear that? It's the dog jumping down. So now in my head, I'm thinking I'm gonna use keto chow in my frosting because I use keto chow in there and we want high protein, right you guys? We want high protein. So first you gotta come in and you gotta take your softened butter, your softened cream cheese, blend it together. I use a fork. I'm old school, yes, probably could use my beater, but everything I own is in the sink dirty. So, I am gonna use half a cup of Swerve. Half a cup of Swerve. Well, I don't wanna splash. I'm going to use half a cup of Swerve. I'm going to use a dropper of my orange Stevia. It only goes to half when I do it, so half a dropper of orange Stevia. Half a teaspoon of the Loran. Half a teaspoon. Half. Half. And then I'm gonna put 10 drops of Capella. 10 drops of orange sickle Capella. And you guys can get the orange cream sickle drops probably from Rich from Granberry Farms. 10. And I am gonna put a little bit of salt in this because it does help enhance the flavorings, but I just used one turn. Now. Here's where the interesting part comes in. Before I put the keto chow in, I want a thinner. I'm using my vanilla, French vanilla super creamer as my liquid. If you can take almond milk or any kind of your milk, use it. But I'm putting in one, two, three. Now I gotta get a spoon because I gotta start tasting. I'm gonna taste and see where we are. Oh my, my, my. Really? Oh my, my, my. You don't even wanna try that. And that doesn't even have the keto chow in it yet. Yeah. No way, this can't be happening. Good, good luck keeping this oh away from me. God. Okay, come back. Come back to me because I'm adding keto chow for even more deliciousness because you guys, I'm going to put two tablespoons of keto chow in here. One, two. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna Danger. have oh, Danger, Danger Will, Will Robinson. Robinson is not even the word for that. So I'm gonna put one more for a total of four, right? I'm writing this down. Move here. I'm putting two teaspoons, two tablespoons of keto chow. I am putting in four tablespoons total, right? Because I put three yep. creamer. 
I don't want it gritty with the, with the keto chow, you know, powder. I want it to mix and blend smoothly. Well, thicken it up a little bit too, aren't it? Well, thickness isn't, isn't you what I want. I want it, it's built like, oh my gosh, that was, oh my gosh. Let me whip it better with this. And let me have a taste test of that because. <laughs> Okay, give me a huge spoon and let me just start eating this. It's that dang delicious. Oh yeah, I bet. Yes, try this. Oh my gosh, that cake. Heaven, just in heaven. Oh, that's icing. I mean, that's, I, that's, are you that, sure we could ever eat this? Yes. You will come back when it's cake. I'm gonna do the toothpick test because I don't want them to overbake. I think they're done. Harry, let's trade places. Pull them out. You guys, I am not kidding you. That frosting, I wrote it down. So I will put the ingredients up for everybody because I'm telling you, I'm gonna let I'm gonna I'm gonna let Chris and Miriam try this out because oh my gosh, if you're gluten-free, look at that. Well take them out. It's hot. Oh, take them out. Totally. Yes, take them out. Don't, don't bang them. How, how do you do that? I guess that way. <laughs> Hold them. Don't bang them. Close that up. If you're, here, hold this. If you're gluten free, if you can't have almond flour, if you're allergic to everything under the sun except keto chow and egg whites and eggs, period, this is the cake for you. Yes, indeed. Hey, you guys, I, oh man, that smells and feels just like cake. I'm so excited and I cannot even tell you how delicious this frosting is, by the way. And if you don't have keto chow, you don't need keto chow. You could just put a little bit of your egg white protein powder in it. Make sure you, you do one tablespoon at a time. This is just to get more protein in for us, you guys. But we're gonna let this set up. I'm gonna let it sit for at least 30 minutes and cool. Because I want it to be nice and cool when it comes out of the pan. And I'm gonna put a little layer in the middle and I'm gonna frost this puppy and we're gonna have real cake. Because I'm telling you, this is better than the angel food cake. Other than the angel food cake is protein spray and modified fast. But if you count four egg yolks and count the slices, you can still have it. You just need to get the macros, which I need to figure out the macros on this puppy because let me tell you, it is delicious. We'll come back when I'm ready to frost it and the cake is cool. Yeah, man. Look at this frosting. That right there is a price of a mission. Oh my gosh, this is heaven. That orange mango makes the best. Okay, Sal wants dinner. Sally wants, you haven't fed your puppy? Not yet, I'll <gasps> feed her right after you, you get done. You haven't fed your puppy? Okay, this is what I did, you guys. Come look. I put my silicon pan on my new, my new cake pan. Oh, that's a good idea. I feel like it's all in red. Ooh, it's, it's already out. Is it really? Oh, wow, check it out. Ooh, you guys. Ooh. Turn it. No, 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 wait a minute. I want to get it right in on the middle. That's one. You're not in the middle, but that's good. Semantics. Oh my gosh, so how easy is that gonna be to come out? Yep, okay, you guys. Okay, you guys, this is it. We are icing the cake. I have, to have, have, I have to have enough to do the top and the middle, so yes. hopefully. Well, just do it thin like, I guess, huh? Yes. Didn't I buy one of those cake doohickeys? Yes, I did. I don't know how to work this very well. Just do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it Wendy's way. Yeah, just do it. You 
guys. This, if you're allergic to everything, but like I said, this has swerve and eggs and keto chow. No almond, no coconut. Now you get that thing and make it all flat. You do. See, Wendy's never had done any work with cement, I can tell. No, you're a trowel guy. Yeah, you can frost the cake, Harry, but you can't eat it. <laughs> You guys, I am so excited. Ask me how excited I am. How excited are you, Wendy? I am really excited. This one's a little bit smaller than the other one, but that's just fine. Ooh, you guys. I am so excited. Whoops, I didn't mean to throw that. I guess I'll have to eat it. Mm-hmm, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. You guys. This Sorry. is so this is so darn delicious. Now instead of the Keto creamer, you guys can just use some kind of almond or cashew or nut butter or creamer of your choice. You can use heavy whipping cream. Make the frosting yours. Make the frosting yours. You gonna try to do the sides too? Yeah. You got enough? No, I don't know. Don't want it all piled on top, do we? Don't we want it kind of just, just a little bit of frosting, man. Just a little bit of frosting. It may not be pretty, but let me tell well, you. Well, it's the first try. Let's we're trying this out. See if it's going to work. Now, because I wasn't expecting to frost this. Karen, you can make this beautiful. Shelly, you guys can make this beautiful. All you bakers can make this beautiful. But you know what I'm making? I'm making it delicious. Yep, that's true. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. See? I'm telling you, i got to learn how to use this. I can hear the voices. Wendy, no, use the... Use the doohickey, yeah, whatever it's called, spatula. Let me see. Is there any? Is there any cake that's Maybe missing? Like that. That's missing some frosting over here that we can play with. I don't want it really heavy frosted. Yeah. You know, I just want a little taste of frosting. Just that that taste of frosting. That you get right mm -hmm. since the one layer is a different layer uh, it's a different probably should have put the ribbed part of the cake down down well yeah of course but you know I'm left-handed and that's the way I roll my stuff doesn't taste my stuff doesn't look as pretty as some but let me tell you something this cake is going to taste delicious, and you know why? I'm going to cut into it right now, because I want to taste it. That's how excited I am about this cake. And then I can clean it up and make it look pretty. Use a different finger right here. Okay. That frosting is amazing. Amazing. Harry's getting angry at me. I know me. it's really good because he she is, is not sharing. She's not sharing. Here, okay. Here, here. Oh, boy. Here. Well, I make, okay, you don't have to have it. Give it to me. You don't have to have it. Mm. I mean it. It's so good. Nice and creamy. Okay, I need a plate. Get a picture of my cake because I'm proud of it. It may not look pretty, but it is going to taste delicious. Okay, you guys, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it. I need a knife, Harry, move. Boy, the dishwasher didn't come on time today. He's a little bit late. He's sleeping. 
Oh, man. I only want a slice. Slices like cake. Mm. Oh, it fell over on Harry. you. Harry. No, I'm going to make it another. Oh, that's good. good, just like that. Well, I'm going to get a piece for me and a piece for you. Peace for mom, because we're having cake. I, I knew this was going to happen, you know. The minute she said that she was going to make frosting, I knew that this was going to happen. You don't have to have, hey, Harry, you do not have to have any cake. Look at that, you guys. OMG, OMG, yes, Serene. Guess I'll just have to try that. Can we do the happy dance? Mm -hmm. Man, look inside there. Here, let me back up. Did you guys like a piece of cake that doesn't have any flour, has no almond flour, no coconut flour, no flour of any kind, has delicious cage-free organic eggs, some egg yolks, and all kinds of deliciousness with Kerrygold butter, Philadelphia cream cheese frosting, an orange mango keto chow. Yes, indeed. It's delicious. Okay, you guys. That's what we are having. That's, that's going to have to be dinner. That is it. That is it in a nutshell. That's dinner. So, you guys, I hope you can make your mistakes into a win-win situation like I did with my cake. I mean, wow, well, we developed the cake. I'm telling that's you, so cool. it's delicious. It really is. Now, Harry... I want you to take a taste test of the entire cake. So okay. let me get a fork. Do the Duncan Hines thing. What's that? Where you oh. show the cake. Oh, I'll hold it up to the lens. Here, take this. Okay. Got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, Harry, I want you to do a taste test of that one. You ready? Yes. Ooh, look at this. Can you guys see that? Mmm. Mmm. Smell. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This is cake. It is. Seriously, Can you believe it doesn't have any uh, almond flour or coconut flour or flour flour or psyllium husk or any of the grains or anything? That it's just eggs? I need some coffee with this. Well, I just happened to have made a fresh pot. So, okay, put that down so we can say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> oh, I'm going to taste. I'm going to have a little bit of a taste. Ooh. It's a cross between the way the um, angel food cake tastes and feels, you know, texture. Oh, man, that smells like Duncan Hines cakes to me. Man. Hmm. Wow, huh? That amazing. That's amazing. You guys. I just turned frown upside down with a great new cake. I'm not even going to call it a failure. I'm going to make this recipe into yep. a regular cake yes. when I want a cake. This is the cake I'm making. End of story. Yes, indeed. You know, you could do this with chocolate. Oh, I know you can. You could do this with just about anything. Well, every flavor of the rainbow. I mean, yeah. Kino Chow has 18, 19, I forgot how many flavors. <gasps> Caramel macchiato cake. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Mm. Okay, you guys. 
we're gonna eat now. So if you guys like what you see, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give us a thumbs up, you guys. We'll see you right here tomorrow. And look at little Sally. She's going, Mom, you're making that cake sound pretty good. It was my slide. Pretty good, huh? You say goodnight. Say goodnight.